uh, welcome to my thoughts. I apologize that this is not Slider Season 4. I'm working on that. But, um, what this is, is a little character analysis video on a character from Bones. Uh, okay, so, Bones, I normally do the my thoughts for Bones in written form, because I started it in written form because I was too lazy to make a video, and it comes out better if I can organize my thoughts with Bones. But for, like, sliders, I can just give you summaries, because, you know, it's pretty basic plots. Bones is a bit more complex. So, uh, I'm only doing this video because I just finished Season 3. And it kind of hit me a bit hard, because, um, right, spoilers. So if you haven't seen the finale of Season 3 and you want to, go watch Bones and don't finish the video. But if you want to know what happened or you already know what happened, keep watching. Um, basically, in the finale of Season 3, it's discovered that the uh, season arc long killer Gormagon uh, had an apprentice and that apprentice was Zack. Zack is a uh, he used to be um, Dr. Brennan's grad student but then he just got promoted to having an, a job at the Jeffersonian and it's kind of funny because he's the youngest character until Sweets comes in but he's the oldest actor because he's he was born in like 1970 I think and everybody else was like 72 73 or later like Sweets was born in 1985 well the actor John Francis Taylor so uh what when that happened was uh it was revealed that Zack was the apprentice because he was weak minded but I don't want to talk about that really I realized something while watching the episode that Zack is what would happen if on the Big Bang Theory, and I know a lot of you hate the Big Bang Theory, like, Burning Passion hate the Big Bang Theory, because it's not a good show about nerds, and it's four guys, it's four people making fun of an autistic guy, but hear me out on this, it's an analogy, and it works, um, basically, Zach Addy from Bones is Sheldon Cooper if he was written competently and not for laughs. Because they really do act very similar. Uh, because Zack, in the early seasons, in the, er in the early part of season one, and I think a bit into season two, he would be confused about, like, normal stuff. Like, uh, um, he was confused about sex, so he always asked Booth questions about it. And it's like how Sheldon doesn't really understand sex in the traditional sense of understanding sex. He knows what it is, and it's, you know, he understands the scientific aspect, but he doesn't understand the, the human aspect. So, that's sort of an interesting thing, because I, I never noticed it until I watched that episode, and I realized it, that Zach Addy is Sheldon Cooper if he was written competently and not for laughs. And it, it was weird because I never thought about it before. I've been watching Big Bang Theory for a couple of ye for um, a lot of years now, and I personally like it. But to each their own opinion. If you won't bash my opinion for liking it, I won't bash your opinion for not liking it. I'm willing to have that back and forth. I like it, and I understand why you don't like it. And if you don't like it and understand why I like it, we can we can be cool. So, uh, and I've been watching Bones, uh, for a little, I think it's almost a year. I started watching it sometime in, like, the early part of 2013. I remember because I finished season one on the day that I was, uh, stuck home from school because I was sick. And I remember, uh, that it was obviously before school ended, so I had to have been watching it. I had to have started season one sometime between now and June, and finished it between now and June. So, uh, that's uh, another point entirely. But, I've been watching it, and I never put it together until the last episode, because I kind of saw how Zack was like Sheldon, because I'm, like, they turned him into a sociopath, basically. And I'm fine with it. I'm sure that that was because, um, uh, 
Eric Milligan, the actor, wanted to leave the series, and you don't want to leave a series in a bad way, like, um, you don't want to leave off screen, like, uh, the guy that used to run the Jeffersonian, I cannot remember his name because I have not seen him in two seasons, Dr. Goodman. So, Zack didn't want to leave the series like, uh, Dr. Goodman did off screen in between the season. And then you don't want to leave a show like, for example, uh, spoilers if you haven't seen the entirety of House, when, uh, Cal Penn's character, Cutner, left the show, uh, he, they had his character commit suicide off screen. And I didn't think that was a good way for him to leave. I wanted him to just kind of go his separate way, you know, every other time a character left, they just sort of were like, hey, I'm leaving, and they left. I don't know why they had to go all dramatic with Cutner. I really did like the character. I was kind of disappointed that they just killed him off like that. So, um... So, yeah. And I understand why I wanted to leave the show like that. Like, you don't want to leave the show in a... You want to leave it memorable, but you don't want to leave it in a bad way. So, I agree. You know, leaving the show in that way was a good idea. And so I understand why he wanted to leave the show, and I have no problem with why he wanted to leave the show. But, you know, I wish he didn't. And, uh, that's kind of all I have to say about this. Just that, uh, Zach Addy is Sheldon Cooper if he was written confidently, which I've said like six times. So, hope that sunk in, and, uh, I'll see you next time for whatever I come up with for this next time. <laughs>